similar to this past weekend. Snow showers start piling up by tomorrow evening. However, we're going to get brushed by this particular storm system, just like we did a couple days ago on Sunday. So we avoid the brunt of the storm. However, we're still going to get enough snow to cause some slick roads going into Thursday. Uh, here is satellite and radar. The two storm systems responsible for the snow are still approximately 700 to 1,000 miles away from us. But uh, these two will essentially merge over Illinois and result in some heavier snow showers for some spots. Again, we're kind of right on the fringes of all of this. So up until that point, we'll see an increase in clouds tonight. Not quite as brisk as last night. 20 coming for the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, uh, we have a dry start to the day. Maybe even some sunshine in the morning. Then turning cloudy and milder in the afternoon as temperatures rise into the mid-30s. Snow showers start up by the time we get to tomorrow evening. We avoid the brunt of all this. However, winter weather advisories in effect south of I-80. And they could be added on into Chicago if we start to see some of those heavier snow bands materialize. Those advisories may even sneak into DeKalb County. We'll be watching this area very closely to see if some of the heavier snowfall does make its way north enough to include some counties closer to, uh, towards us. Uh, I do think the state line is not going to see any kind of advisories and we avoid the heaviest of the snow, but still expecting a couple inches out of this. So here's future track at about 1.30 tomorrow afternoon. We're dry up until that point. Snow showers start sneaking in by about 3 o'clock. There may be some brief bursts of heavier snow snowfall with this. You note the darker colors here showing that heavier snow shower activity and that continues through about seven and then we're back to lighter snowfall as the brunt of the storm stays to our south. You note uh, the darker snowfall consistently south of I-80 and then towards Chicago. Heading into Wednesday night, still seeing some light snowfall. Eventually flurry activity tries to filter in. That all continues through sunrise and possibly even into the middle of Thursday mornings. It may take until 10 o'clock before the snow finally ends. So while we end up with fairly Fairly light showers, they are going to last long enough to cause several inches of accumulation before this all shuts off. Uh, so as you look at the snowfall forecast, one to three inches likely for our area. I think the lighter totals will be more to our northwest, possibly into Stevenson and Joe Davies County. You may only see it on inch. And then you're working your way upward from there. As you head south uh, eastward, you're running into three plus inches of snowfall. And you can see we're right on the fringes of some of the heavier bands of snow, uh, but sitting just outside of that. So watch out for slick roads Wednesday evening into Thursday morning and we drop in temperature going from 16 to 8 between Thursday morning and Thursday evening down to minus 7 Thursday night with a wind chill of minus 20 easily our coldest night since 2019 and uh, we are looking at wind chills staying below zero throughout the day on Friday with temperatures in the low teens and that could result in a lot of ice on the rivers uh, so as the air cools off of course the ice builds up rapidly on the Rock River and that could cause some ice jams, which do lead to flooding, and these can happen with little warning. So if you live on the river or have business on the river, just pay close attention to those river levels as there may be some minor flooding in some spots as a result of that ice buildup. We may not see that for very long after two frigid days at the end of the week. We see conditions warming back up above freezing into the weekend. That could lead to a little rain and snow on Saturday and then 40 for next Monday. That will lead to some rain showers before a transition back to snow as the weather cools off. James and Kristen. A little bit of everything on that. Alex, thanks. Still ahead.